As someone who climbed from bronze to master in 8 months, I pretty much know all the struggles of climbing. On one side of the discussion we have people saying the rank system is perfect, it has absolutely nothing wrong with it, it's amazing, you see my favorite challenger player who plays 20 games a day can climb so you are just bad. And on the other side we have people talking about ELO hell, or loser's queue, or other tinfoil hat theories that have very little evidence to support them. The rank system is broken. It has problems. I think I'm losing my mind. Plus 20, minus 27, minus 27, plus 21. 58% win rate, like, challenger, like, what else do you want from me? I've been playing this game for 10 years. I just don't understand why. I feel like the game is just against me right now. I'm disappointed. I'm, you know, I'm not happy anymore. I'm super, super sad and I'm just not sure what to do anymore. Season 14 is coming up and nobody wants to talk about this, so I feel like Riot doesn't really have good feedback on the matter. So I'm going to try to go over what the real problems are of the rank system and uh, potentially suggest some ways to fix it. And hopefully in this process, I'm going to clear some brain rot that exists around this topic so that you too can give constructive feedback as opposed to uh, saying Riot is scamming me or your badges get good. The last time I talked about this, it was in a video I made seven months ago. And I remember in that video, I talked about uh, a tweet made by a Riot employee who said that they are looking into the problems caused by negative LP gains and trying to find a solution how to fix it. So before we get into all the problems of rank, let's first talk about all of the things that Riot has done in these past seven months in order to try to fix the rank system. Let's start with the introduction of Emerald. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, actually I kind of like it. One thing Emerald did that people still to this day do not understand is it inflated a bunch of lower ranks and it deflated a bunch of higher ranks. So what we have here is all the ranks we have in League of Legends as of today, as well as the top percentage of the player base before and after the addition of Emerald. And if for instance we look at a rank like Gold 4, let's say, we can see that Gold 4 used to occupy the top 39.3% of the player base and now it occupies the top 51.3% of the player base. Now, Using these numbers, we can figure out the equivalent rank of today and before the addition of Emerald. So I'm going to put up a picture on the screen and you guys can pause it if you're interested in checking that out. The main reason Riot gave for the introduction of Emerald was the fact that they thought that lower ELO players did not have a visual rank that accurately expressed their skill level. They said that top silver players were better than average players and gold players were a lot better than average. So what they wanted to do is they wanted to take this distribution that exists and flatten it out a bit in order to have have a system that more accurately expresses a player's skill level through their rank. If we look at the stated goal and compare it to the rank distribution that exists today, we can see that they've pretty much managed to do this, except for I have no idea what's going on in bronze, but yeah. I think this is a pretty positive change, in my opinion, because uh, having more of these stepping stones is going to act as an additional motivator for players, and it's going to make them feel better about playing the game and keep them more motivated and more positive. But now, let's get into the question. How does the introduction of Emerald fix negative LP gains? The biggest problems from this system come from the fact that MMR and LP are a separate and different rank. MMR is basically your rank or your position compared to all other players that play the game, whereas LP is your visual rank. The rank you're being shown is not your correct rank. Your correct rank is the MMR rank. And the reason why this is your correct rank as opposed to LP is because the game will constantly try to increase or decrease your LP gains in order to get you to the rank where MMR wants you to be. And the problem of negative LP gains comes from the mismatch speeds of these two ranks. In order to explain how Emerald fixes negative LP, I want you to imagine a ladder race. We have two ladders and our contenders are Mr. MMR and Mr. LP. The race starts and MMR starts climbing. He is giving it his all, but what he doesn't know is that LP is a little bit of a cheater. He's a little bit juiced up. So LP shoots to the top first and snatches the trophy. The difference between them climbing to the top is going to be negative LP gains. Now, let's imagine we increase the size of the ladder LP needs to climb by, oh, I don't know, let's say 400 LP. 
Well, now we have given MMR enough time to catch up and get to the top at the same time as LP, eliminating negative LP gains. At least that was the idea behind it. But sadly, it uh, didn't work as well as they've hoped. And now we're left here suffering uh, from some of the real problems caused by the negative LP system. In order for a system to be good, it needs to feel both fair and rewarding. And in order to feel both fair and rewarding, the system needs to have what I call a positive feedback loop. The way a good and healthy system works is that a player is going to have a positive input into the system and he is going to get a reward. Right now, it doesn't work that way. In the current system, a player can play 100 games with a very high positive win rate of over 55% and for his efforts, he's going to end up losing LP and deranking. That is really dumb. Now, let us put ourselves in the head of the player who has negative LP gains. Well, he's gonna ask himself some questions like, am I making a mistake? Am Am I improving? Will I climb if I keep at it? How soft is the concrete underneath my window? The system will fail to answer any of these questions for the player, except for maybe the last one. So the player is going to be left shooting in the dark pretty much. In order to have a rank that gives the player meaningful information in the short term sense, it needs to show the player their correct rank or very close to it. Now imagine you finished a long day at school or work. You come home to play a little bit of your favorite Rainbow and Sunshine simulator, League of Legends. You queue up and there are four Timmies on your team and you end up losing the game and you are down 30 LP and since you only gained 20, well, now you have to play one more hour and win two games to barely make any progress. If you care about climbing at all, this is gonna do is make you feel more anxious than an AD carry hearing the words, I will not yield. So the player is gonna feel cheated because if he loses two games well now he's gonna have to win three games in order to end up even and that doesn't feel fair if we keep feeding the player confusing information combined with lp that looks like a greek mythology torture method the player is going to start being on edge and feeling quite desperate they're gonna lash out of course and who's gonna take the brunt of this well it's gonna be their teammates so now you're gonna have a bunch of Timmies running amok in your games. And, you know, Timmies are like zombies. As soon as they bite you, there is a good chance that you're gonna become a Timmy yourself and start spewing toxicity all over your games. For those of you who are not gifted in the understanding department, what I'm basically saying is it doesn't matter whether or not you have the negative LP gains yourself, it's gonna make the overall game and the overall rank ladder a lot more toxic. And finally, the MMR system is just way too slow. The goal of the MMR system is to find your rightful place on the ladder and it is going to increase or decrease your LP in order to get you to that rank. Now, the effectiveness of the system is going to be measured by the precision and by the speed at which it does that. The current MMR system that exists in League of Legends is based on an ELO system. And an ELO system is a system that was developed for um, a very small game. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called chess. Okay, I, I, it, it's not a small game. I lied to you for dramatic effect. The difference between League of Legends and chess is that chess has a lot more skill expression than League. And this is very evident in the cliche phrase a lot of haters say, uh, well, master players can get an 80% win rate um, in low elo, so you're just bad at the game. Well, in chess, a master or grandmaster player can get a near 100% win rate and almost never lose a game in those corresponding ranks. So the problem that comes up in team games is that team games have a lot more variance. Now we have a game that has a lot less skill expression and a lot more variance. And what that's gonna do is the system is gonna adjust way slower to your actual skill level. Because remember, MMR is searching for your current skill level. If you have a negative LP, um, well, you're gonna have to play a lot of games in order to climb. With average LP gains of plus 21, minus 27, you would need around 65% win rate in 100 games to climb a rank, or a 60% win rate over 200 games, or a 59% win rate over 300 games, or a 58% win rate for 500 games. You're probably thinking now, well, 
the LP gains are going to adjust as you play. They're going to fix themselves, they're going to increase. The truth is, as long as there is a discrepancy between your MMR and your actual rank, well, you're going to get an increase or decrease of LP. So the way people get into those situations where they get plus 16 LP and minus 30 LP, this usually happens when you climb a little bit too fast for the system's liking, so the system tries to pull you down a little bit. But whichever it may be, it is painfully slow. And that is my point. I want to restate, the system, in the long run, will find your correct rank. But having to play so many games, and then when you improve, having to play even more games, in order for the slow system to find your rank, feels absolutely awful. We don't have real objective data on the speed at which it changes, so the best I can do is use my own example and the games that I documented while I was climbing from bronze to master. So this sample is from my climb as I was making my way through platinum, and it contains 70 76 games. Out of those 76, I won 43 and lost 33 games, which gives me a win rate of about 57%. Starting LP gains were plus 18 minus 30, and I finished with plus 23 minus 26. The LP that I gained for this was 907, and the LP lost was 897. So after 76 games with a 57% win rate, the final result was plus 10 LP, and the LP gap came down from minus 12 to minus 3. From this improved state, of 76 games with an almost 57% win rate, it would still take me over 200 more games to climb the remaining 390 LP. The system is way too slow. Now, you don't need to make it too easy to climb because there's the obvious problem of account boosters that we want to avoid, but I don't think it's unreasonable to expect somebody to be able to climb one whole rank uh, with 100 games, give or take, with a 58% win rate. This is going to require you to have LP gains of plus minus 25, and this very rarely happens. Now that we have a list of problems, we can start talking about solutions. But before we get into that, I wanted to talk about how Riot is actually doing things that are making making things worse. That's right, making things worse. And it all boils down to time. Time is the reason this problem even exists. I mean, if people had infinite time, they wouldn't really care that the system adjusts slowly or that they had to play a lot of games. But as things stand right now, people have responsibilities, they have lives to live and eventually die. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I need a quick panic break. One of the main reasons why I prefer playing a game like League of Legends to a game like Dota is the fact that League games don't last ages. And I feel like Riot is making certain changes that are increasing the duration of the games. All I'm saying is if you increase the duration of the game by 5 minutes over so many games that players need to play, it might be a little bit too much. Also, Season 14 is going to have 3 ladder resets. So you gotta be careful because a lot of players seeing these ladder resets, what they're gonna do is they're gonna feel like Sisyphus getting punished by the Riot overlords. However, I think this is actually a thing that they're doing in order to try to fix the negative LP gains. My speculation is that they're going to just reset your LP without changing your MMR much in order to lower the discrepancy between them. It might fix some of the psychological problems, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So there are obviously multiple ways of solving the rank system problems. And if you have any suggestions, I strongly encourage you to leave a comment down below. Who knows, maybe a rioter sees this video, reads your comment and you help them out. I'm going to make a suggestion in order to just get the ball rolling. So from my perspective, you can solve this problem in two ways. One way is removing LP and just showing the player MMR like it was back in season one. The second way is doing some kind of an adjustment or modification to the current system. So far all Riot has done is made changes that increase the amount of LP players needed to climb. So another change along these lines would be something like removing demotion shields because demotion shields are just another way to increase the discrepancy between your MMR and LP because remember when you lose a game and you hit that zero from the demotion shield, you're still gonna lose the full value of your MMR, whereas you're gonna lose less LP. You can lose one LP and lose the full value of your MMR, creating this larger and larger discrepancy. When you play a lot of games, the system gets more confident on guessing your position on the ladder respective to other players. So what that means is that your MMR gains go from being more malleable to being more rigid and change less with each game. 
So a good example of this is that when you make a new account, you're going to get those really good MMR gains and you're going to be able to climb really fast or you're going to be able to lose LP really fast. Whereas if you've played for a long time, it's going to take you a lot more games in order to get the ball rolling. So what I'm suggesting is that we need some old fashioned bullying. We need to make the system feel a little bit more insecure. So in other words, implementing a small increase in the change or the variability of MMR is also going to work in bridging that gap between MMR and LP. So if the player improves faster, the system is going to let him express it a little bit better by allowing him to play with better and better players and just increase the speed at which he climbs and achieves new ranks. There is a small downside to this and the price is a potential very slight increase in the variance of the skill level in your games. But I don't really think that it's going to be a big problem in the long run if it's implemented correctly. So doing this will improve the feedback the player gets because the rank is going to be closer to his actual actual rank, which is going to allow him to use win rate as a better indicator of whether or not he is improving. In return, we reduce the number of Timmies, therefore lowering the overall toxicity in our games. And it also lets players who make big improvements uh, get rewarded and climb faster. And because MMR changes are going to increase in both directions, both up and down, we avoid uh, inflating ranks. Anyways, I hope you managed to follow along. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you think more people need to see this video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and you can also follow me on Twitch. Thank you for watching, good luck in your games, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.